Hey everybody, my name is Corey Jewett. I'm the Director of Athletic Communications here at Gettysburg College, and I'm here to bring you the 2018 Men's Soccer Preseason Video. Joining me today are the two captains from the Bullet Soccer Team, Peter Kost from Milburn, New Jersey, and Ezekiel Omasanya from Lagos, Nigeria. Guys, thanks for joining me today to talk about the Bullet Soccer campaign coming up. I mean, we start in just over a week. We've got a full slate of games, and I have a full slate of questions to ask you guys. So Pete, we'll start on your side here. Obviously, you guys have been on campus for over a week and a half now. It's kind of been you guys and a few other fall sports teams. Just how beneficial is that being on campus early as one of the only teams to really bond as a unit? Sure. Um, so we think it's great uh, getting on campus early. We're able to focus mainly just on soccer, getting to know the freshmen on our own. You know, it's a really great time for us to bond together as a team, create a lot of chemistry with one another. Um, just really just getting to focus on soccer, not having to worry about school, uh, waking up, doing homework, really just focusing on our practices, conditioning and whatnot. It's really a really beneficial for us uh, as a team to grow. And of course, you don't get much in the way of preseason. That's why you do sometimes two practices a day and other types of conditioning because I mean, scrimmages and those varsity contests sure come pretty fast when you yeah. report for the fall. So Zeke, talking to you in, in preseason, obviously you guys have been doing it, putting in a lot of work, um, two-a-days, other conditioning, team meetings and everything. What has that all been building towards as far as goals go for the season? Um, we are really trying to win the conference this year and uh, having this preseason, having everybody work hard, having the fresh years, like trying to get into the system, see how college soccer is like, is all building towards that same goal. Even the upperclassmen, we're trying to be better than we were last year. And so this, this environment right now is just basically getting better and basically getting every tactics and uh, every instructions from the coaches down so that when the season comes in full force, we're ready for it. That's great. Now, obviously, last season we had a big senior class, uh, 10 seniors, one of the biggest senior classes we've had in quite a while, and some really talented players in that senior class as well. So, Pete, looking at the roster this year, we got some younger guys coming in looking to fill those voids. Um, you know, how is the team overall going to try to compensate for the loss of so many quality players? Yeah, of course. So, uh, this year we have nine freshmen coming in. Um, they're looking pretty talented. So. We're hoping that we can fill those voids with uh, the new guys coming in and a lot of the guys that we currently have on the roster have had a lot of experience in big games. So we're hoping that people can step up this year and um, fill those voids that David Murphy, Patrick Santini left and hopefully we can be as successful as we were last season. Well, one of the most interesting things about our roster, Zeke, is that there are people from everywhere. I mean, we have nine states represented on the roster but and we have three individuals who list as their hometowns as in Nigeria, one of whom is you, of course. But even the people that list their hometowns in the States are originally from other countries as well. I mean, we mentioned Colombia and uh, El Salvador as well as countries people hail from. So what's it like just having that type of unique culture on this team? And how does it kind of build the overall team culture as well? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Our team is a really, really diverse team. We have people from everywhere and we have people who bring their different characters and different cultures and they share in the locker room mostly, you know, through songs or through the languages. And it's just really fun to have people, you know, from different places just come in and like try to like, you know, explain or like help people understand why they may be different or like what the culture sounds like or like what you know, the food or the music tastes like. So it's uh, it's a really, really nice environment just to like introduce uh, like especially our American friends to like a different culture and have them get excited about it. So it's really fun. And it certainly adds a new element to announcing the names of every everybody too. I know Omasanya just rolls off the tongue. It's my favorite name to announce. So Pete, turning to you, you know, last year we had a lot of close games, a lot of close matches. Um, I think I counted up 11 when I was looking at the schedule last night, some in overtime, some in regulation, some we won, some we didn't win. What are some key elements to win in those contests this fall? Sure. Um, so mainly it's uh, a lot of mentality goes into it, a lot of um, not giving up on the team, not giving up on the final minute. You know, you want to play till the end of the whistle. Um, but, you know, it also has a lot to do with endurance, conditioning, um, just making sure we're ready to get out there and give it our all every game. Um, it just really comes down to that. It's more of just a mentality over everything. Well, my final question for you guys, 
Um, Pete, you're in your fourth year as a member of the soccer program. Zeke, you're third, both serving as team captains. You know, asking you, what are some of your favorite things about being a bullet soccer player here at Gettysburg College? Zeke, we'll start with you. I would have to say it's the camaraderie. Um, I've never felt close as a family on a sports team in a long time, other than the Gettysburg soccer team. It's, you know, we have a close relationship. Some of us have classes together. Some of us go to the library together. Some of us, all of us play together on this beautiful field right here. So um, being a part of this team has just been a really fun, fun environment. For, not just for me, I think for everybody. So I think the camaraderie is like a big role. Pete, how about you? Got to give a shout out to Servo, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would also have to say it's got to be the uh, camaraderie. We're a really close-knit group. We all go to Servo together. We all hang out together in our free time. Um, it's also a really competitive environment, so we're all getting on one another, and it's great because we all get to grow as a team and get better with, uh, with one another. So it's just a really uh, great environment that we create here at the college with the team. Well, that does it for the questions I have for you guys. So, but we have more to come. I'm going to engage in a little bit of a, a skills challenge with these two right here. I'm not sure what exactly they have planned for me, so I'm going to find out in 10 seconds. But that's been the Q&A portion of our season preview. But stay tuned for the skills competition. Hey everybody, I'm here with head men's soccer coach Mark Metric. Coach Metric, you're in your fifth year at Gettysburg College. You've had a lot of success in your five years. You know, heading into the season for 2018, what have What's been the team's energy and attitude so far? It's been good. I mean, you know, it's a short preseason, so we, we, you know, we, we get a lot done in that time, and, and it's pretty hectic. But uh, no, I think the energy has been very good. We've got nine uh, first-year players that have come in, so I, I think they've done a good job job so far, acclimatizing a little bit and getting to know each other. And uh, but it's a lot, so uh, you know, we still got things to do. We, we have a couple of scrimmages in preseason. We've had one already, and uh, that's going to be helpful. Uh, and it's trying to figure out, you know, who's ready and who's going to fit in. I mean, we graduated ten seniors last year, so there's a little, certainly a lot of change in terms of, of, of players. But uh, but it's good, and it's getting to know these uh, young lads, and uh, it's been fun. Now we have a contest planned with Pete and Zeke. Um, I'll be taking part in that contest as well. How do you think that little captain's challenge I have planned today is going to go? Uh, you pick the uh, you know a couple of defenders, so uh, you know it'll be interesting to see how they do because I don't think they really take our penalties. But uh, if you need some help, I'll I'll stop in there. All right, I'll hold you to that. So, Coach Metric, and now we're going to move on to the competition. All right, everybody, we have the men's soccer captain's challenge coming up here, and the guys have come up with a little game that we can kind of compete in. So the object is to kick the ball into the side net in the air from the penalty marker here. You see a ball right there. So we're gonna do best of three and whoever hits the most in gets bragging rights for the next year, I guess, until we do this again. So I think we're ready to go. I think Zeke's gonna lead things off. He's gonna take all three hits, right Zeke? Yep. All right, so Ezekiel Omasanya is gonna lead us off with the first kick. Zeke off the post, no good. He hit his first one in when we were practicing, so. Oh. Wide right. <laughs> Last chance for Zeke to get on the board here. Wide at left. So you jinx yourself, you hit your first practice one in. No, I stopped practicing. <laughs> All right, and now Pete's up. It would have been a goal. A it would have been in. It was a good shot. Here's strike number two. Yep. Same spot. Right the middle. My chances are looking pretty good here right now. Last chance for Pete. Oh. All right. The guys come up empty, so I get three shots to try to put it in the air into the net. If none of us hits, I'm not sure what we'll do for overtime, or I might have to bring in a secret weapon for the third hit. Uh -oh. oh, no lift on that. And keep in mind, well, I guess we're all wearing sneakers, so. In my defense, mine are bigger. They're 15s. Kind of hard to get lift on these things. Oh, man. 
Oh, in the spot, but not in the air. You know what? I'm going to take a step back and let Coach Metric try to kick one into the corner with me for me. Coach, good timing. He's got the old school boots on. He's got the shoes on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Metric steps in, hits it in. Coach Metric saves the day, so the staff wins the captain's challenge. My thanks to Peter Cost, Ezekiel Omasanya for joining me today for the season preview. You can catch the bullets all season long. Plenty of home games to check out. Home next Friday and Saturday. Home opener is Friday, 5 p.m. against Whitwood. Whitworth and SUNY Cortland on Saturday. So make sure you come to Clark Field, check the bullets out, head to GettysburgSports.com for the latest updates. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook all season long, and go Bullets!